Welcome back to my channel SD Civil Info. In this video, we are going to see about what is rate analysis. Let me give some introduction about rate analysis. In detailed estimate, the detailed quantities of different items of works that involved in the project are arrived in the first stage. But in order to calculate the total cost of work, we have to determine the rate for that different item of works that involved in that particular project. So the process of determining the rate of any work such as earthwork excavation, brickwork, concrete work, plastering, painting, etc. that involved in that project is known as analysis of rates. And the rates of these works further help in determining the cost of particular work and in turn the cost of the project. The rate of any process or work depend on various factors. We will see it later. And here is the definition of rate analysis. The determination of rate per unit of a particular item of work that is from the cost of quantities of materials, the cost of laborers, and other miscellaneous petty expenses required for its completion, that is completion of project, is known as analysis of rate. The rate analysis is usually worked out for the unit of payment of the particular item of work under two heads, such as materials and labors. The cost of materials and labors are added together and give the cost of item of work. The rates of materials are usually taken by including the following items such as the rates delivered at the site of work, the first cost that is costed origin, the cost of transport in case if the materials are to be carried out from a distance place that is more than 8 km then the cost of transportation is also to be added here. The next one is in case of any railway freight charges available it is also to be added and taxes and other charges are also to be added and for tools and plants and miscellaneous petty items we have to add the lump sum provisions because they cannot be accounted in details and also provisions for water charges are to be included in the total cost to arrive the rate. In addition to those, a reasonable profit for the contractor is also included in the analysis of rate. The contractor may be allowed a net profit of 6 to 8 percent and the miscellaneous overhead expenses may come to about 5 to 10 percent and therefore totally for overhead expenses and for contractors profit 15 percent of actual cost may be a reasonable amount but it is usual practice to add 10 percent for all these works under the name head profit and for smaller works the overhead cost may be very little i have already mentioned that adding 10 percentage to this cost as contractors profit the rate per unit for all items of work are obtained. Here are two cases. If cement and steel are not supplied by the contractor, the contractor is not to invest any money on this. Therefore, 10% profit is not allowed on cement and steel. The cost of carriage of cement and steel from the gudown to the site of work should be allowed to the contractor. But if cement and steel are to be arranged by the contractor himself, then the 10% profit should be added on these materials also. Hence, 10% profit may be added over the whole cost of labors and materials including cement and steel. If it is not specified that, these will be supplied departmentally. Now let us see about overhead cost. Overhead cost include general office expenses, rents, taxes, supervision and other costs which are indirect expenses and not productive expenses on the job. The miscellaneous expenses on overhead may be under the following heads such as general overheads and job overheads. First let us see about general overheads. The expenses that comes under general overheads are as follows. The first one is 
establishment that is expenses for office staff the next one is the charges for stationery printing postages etc then traveling expenses the next one is telephone charges and the expenses for rent taxes etc these are all the charges or expenses that comes under general overheads next we see the expenses that comes under the job overheads they are supervisional charges that is salary of engineers overseers supervisors etc then charges for handling of materials then charges for repairs carriage and depreciation of t and p that is tools and plants next one is the amenities of labors then workmen's compensations insurance etc then interest on investment and the last one is losses on advances in order to calculate the cost of labor we have to know what is mean by task or outturn the capacity of doing work by an artisan or skilled labor in the form of quantity of work per day is known as task or outturn of the labor the outturn of work varies per artisan to some extent according to the nature size height situation location etc in bigger cities where specialized and experienced laborers are available the outturn is greater when compared to smaller towns and villages and also we have to keep in mind that in well organized work less laborers are required i hope you get some idea about the rate of a particular item of work depends on they are the first one is specification of works and materials quality of materials proportion of mortar method of constructional operations etc then it also depends on quantity of materials and their rates and number of different types of laborers and their rates and also it depends on location of the site of work and its distances from the source of material then the rate of transportation and availability of water and also it depends on profit and miscellaneous and overhead expenses of the contractor we come to the end of this session let us see the overview of rate analysis they are the rate of materials and labors vary from place to place and therefore the rate of different items of work also vary from place to place and the next one is for the purpose of rate analysis the details about all the operations involved in carrying out the work should be available and the quantities of materials required and their cost should be known and also the number of different categories of laborers required and the capacities per laborer and their wages per day should be known and these all can be known only from the experienced practical work i hope you all get some idea about trade analysis if you feel useful by watching this video please do like share and subscribe Thank you for watching. We'll meet you soon in the next video.